Le Principe de Plaisir, The Pleasure Principle, painted in 1937 by René Magritte, features several iconic themes from the artist's over. Visual paradox, the uncanny alteration of the familiar, and the tension between the visible and the hidden. The subject of this portrait is Edward James, an English heir to an American railroad fortune turned eccentric poet and influential patron of surrealist art. Salvador Dali introduced James to Magritte in 1937, and James immediately invited the artist to spend the winter months at his London home. James commissioned several paintings from the promising surrealist, two of which are portraits of the patron, La Reproduction Interdite, not to be reproduced, and Le Principe de Plaisir. Several months after his stay, Magritte presented the idea of this portrait in a letter to James. He said, I have done a picture representing a man whose head is a light. I consider it as a preliminary study. The real picture, as I envision, is still to be painted. But since it would be intended for you, do you not think your person could be recognised in it as well? If the idea appeals to you, all you have to do is be photographed full-faced at a table with your arms crossed and resting on the table and a sort of stone lying on the table to your right and not too far from your arm. And send me the photograph. James commissioned fellow surrealist Man Ray to take his photograph, according to Magritte's instructions. Upon receiving them, Magritte exclaimed, Man Ray's photos are very fine, too fine for me. I'll have to translate them my own way in the picture as I have planned it. Comparing the photograph to the final work, it becomes clear that Magritte has indeed interpreted the photograph. The stone has been brought further into the foreground to allow for shadow under James's hand. Additionally, his tie has been substituted in favour of a bold red version. Throughout his career, Magritte employs surrealist imagery to illustrate a fascination with the hidden, hidden faces in particular. An apple conceals the face of his iconic bowler hat man in The Son of Man, while white cloths cover the faces of his subjects in The Lovers. Magritte achieves the same conflict in Le Principe de Plaisir with his characteristic paradox. We expect light to reveal, not conceal, the subject's face in an otherwise dark room. Le Principe de Plaisir remained in James's collection for almost four decades. It was acquired by the present owner in 1979 and has remained in the same private collection for another 40 years. Mm-hmm.